We're keeping a close eye at conditions all along the coast. Aaron Farrar is live in St. Augustine where the wind is causing issues this morning for boaters. But we begin right now with Vic Michalucci, who's monitoring the situation in Jacksonville Beach. Vic, are you seeing any effects yet? Oh yeah, we're definitely seeing the effects. We're feeling the effects. So you've been checking in with us every 30 minutes and we have seen that tide creep up and the surf get bigger. It is definitely battering the Jacksonville Beach Pier. And if you're familiar with the history over this over the past couple of years, you'll see that there are two piers. The one closest to us is the temporary pier so they can get all that heavy machinery out there. The further one is the repaired pier, which is actually about eight feet higher to withstand conditions like this. Obviously it was taken down, a good bit of it was ripped apart during hurricanes Matthew and Irma back in 2016 and 2017. And now we are seeing the waves certainly putting it to the test here. We've been talking, Corley and Brianna, about this water coming up because we've got the king tide. That's gonna be the highest here in Jacksonville Beach between about 9.30 and 10 o'clock. And it is already passing the trash cans here. It's actually right about up to here at the highest. And then you've got this foam that's coming up it is a nor'easter, so we're getting that wind, the rain, and now the sand coming in uh, from the north. So just to the north of us, you've got Neptune Beach, Atlantic Beach, and the Naval Station, Mayport. And this right here is going to be some of the biggest gusts that we have seen so far. It is rainy. It is cold. It's not friendly. But you know what? There are some people down there that just got out of the water. They are the Duval Ocean Swimmers Club. They've been doing it for more than 40 years, and they say they're not letting this stop. Obviously, it is for experts only. Lifeguards are urging people to stay off the beach and out of the water. In fact, we're going to go and talk to them in just a little bit. But you can see how this water, uh, this wind is just coming and getting us some sand coming through. Obviously, not the best way to start your Saturday morning. I, I'm envious of everybody at home that's sitting in there uh, cozied up watching TV, maybe with a warm drink and some hot breakfast. But just again, I want to show you these visuals because it's definitely out of the ordinary. It's not something we've never seen here before. We're used to nor'easters coming through, especially this time of year. But, but you can just see the impact right there. The birds having trouble trying to keep up. And the reconstruction project here at the pier, which is supposed to finish in the spring, is temporarily on hold. The heavy machinery wrapped up because we've got just these conditions. And I want to show you right here. Come on down here. Our photographer, Kyle, is going to show you. So like I was talking, the tide is coming in and we're seeing a significant change every 30 minutes as we do our live hit. So that tide coming in, it's passing the trash cans. It's gonna come up here. And real quickly, I just wanna walk you and show you the dune line. Um, this is where your dunes are. The dunes are protected. The sea oats hold the sand in there. That is going to be where the erosion concerns come in because looking at this surf, the winds, the rain, it's definitely going to be an issue where we are going to see some erosion. We can already see a little bit where the sand has been washed out into the Atlantic Ocean. So certainly that's going to be something that's going to continue as these conditions deteriorate, as this king tide comes in. And I'll tell you, probably in the next 30 minutes to an hour, where I'm standing right now is going to be reached by the water. So of course, we're gonna keep you posted but for now, we are live in the not-so-lovely Jacksonville Beach, at least today. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.